It has been 1,281 days since I asked you to marry me. At that time, I thought that was the best day of my life. But truth be told, every day I spend with you by my side is the best day of my life. Nothing prepared me for what the privilege of being yours would do. If you'd asked me a few years ago to describe my future husband, I don't think I would have had the words to even depict someone so perfectly suited for me as you. I never could find someone who loves me the way you do. Now, it's hard to picture a life before you. These two met at Maribel College, Dr. O'Gorman's political science class. Why Lawson was taking a political science class is a collegiate mystery. <laughs> but as he was there with his buddies, man walked the fair maiden Lauren, the beautiful, he was love struck. But it would take Lawson about a year to realize, with the help of Lauren's encouragement, that this was destiny. I surrender who I've been for who you are. Nothing makes me stronger than your fragile heart. Babe, you are the yin to my yang. We are not just any ordinary team. We are the dream team. Today is a special day with more to follow. I am so lucky I get to spend the rest of my life with you. I promise to love you with all that I have to my dying breath. I promise to be there for you in all life's biggest moments, the smallest ones, and everything in between. I promise to always support you in all things. I promise that we will have a beautiful life full of love and adventures, full of memories and laughs. And I cannot wait for our lives to start. Through all kinds of weather, you'll find I'll never change. Through sunshine and the shadows, I'll always be the same. We're together, right or wrong, and where you go, I'll tag along. Remember me, I'm the one who loves you. The purpose of our relationship will be to attain enlightenment by perfecting our kindness and compassion toward all sentiment beings, Lama Yishi. By the power vested in me through the wishes of Lauren and Lawson, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Lawson, you may kiss your brain. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating Mr. and Mrs. Wisher. Thank you. Oh my God. Okay, my granddaughter asked me to do this for her, so I guess I'll do it. Kind Heavenly Father, we thank you for this, a very blessed day. We thank you for this being an auspicious occasion for my granddaughter and Lawson. And 
Lord, we ask you to bless this union and uh, be with them, guide them, and lead them into your light. Bless this meal or whatever to the nourishment of our bodies and us until your service. We pray this in Jesus Christ's holy name. Amen. What a special, special night, right? And uh, what makes it so special are the uh, two people sitting in the middle of the room here. In your life, you, you very rarely, if ever, have a chance to have a hundred people in a room that are in one place because of you. If I had only felt the warmth within your touch. Um, one of my favorite stories about folks. <laughs> He calls me one day and he says, I got a present for you. He bought me the biggest fake diamond earrings from Claire's. <laughs> he said, I'm gonna pierce your ears tonight. I said, okay, all right, we're doing it, we're doing it. Uh, we got in a lot of trouble, had some rowdy nights and learned the value of money because none of us had any. Many times I have seen Lauren and Lawson defend each other, respect each other, and do for each other. They never doubt each other and are always on each other's side. <laughs>